air quality on the Front Range is so bad, the EPA is moving to reclassify the area as a severe violator of ozone standards. That could prompt new rules to improve the air. Now, this impacts nine counties of the Front Range, from Castle Rock to the south to Fort Collins to the north. It's because those counties have ozone levels above federal standards. Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, and New York City could also get hit with this severe title. Sam Brash of Colorado Public Radio wrote an article for CPR News about this and why it matters. Sam, let's start with this downgrade. Just how bad has the front range been with meeting EPA standards when it comes to air quality? I think most people can probably tell that the air quality has gotten worse in the front range over the last few years. I mean, that's as simple as looking outside your window, maybe feeling it in your lungs. But when you get down to the numbers, what you see is we've consistently failed to meet federal health standards for ground level ozone, which is one of the main pollutants the EPA regulates. That uh, 2008 standard, which is the important standard here, is 75 parts per billion. Between 2018 and 2020, we consistently saw mac maximums around 81 parts per billion of ozone, so way in excess of that standard. And then the 2021 season was even worse. So that prompted then this downgrade, and then this downgrade will mean changes have to come. Changes like what? So there's two really big things that happen because of this downgrade. The first really affects Colorado businesses. And what it says is that the threshold for having to get a state air pollution permit is no longer 50 tons of ozone precursors emit, emitted a year. It's 25 tons. And that means more than 400 uh, not businesses, but pollution sources will probably have to be permitted by the state. The other big one that I think everyday, everyday people will experience more is a requirement for reformulated gasoline. This is a cleaner burning gasoline. It tends to be a little bit more expensive, about 35 cents per gallon more expensive than regular grade conventional gasoline. But that piece of it probably won't take effect until the summer of 2024. So at the end of the day, obviously the ozone levels impact people, but this downgrade at the federal level and those prompts, those things that it forces will also impact everyday people. So it's, it's the last words of your headline. Why does this matter? You know, I, I don't think we should discount what ozone really means. I mean, a University of Washington study found that 12,000 deaths a year in the U.S. can be attributed to ozone in Colorado. That's 814 deaths. I mean, this is a serious public health concern. But, you know, in terms of the impact of this crackdown, it could mean that people are paying more money at the gas pump. And it could mean a lot of Colorado businesses are having to do additional work to clean up the air. Sam Brash of CPR News. You can read Sam's full story right now. It is posted up on CPR.org. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you, Jason. We also spoke with Jill Hunsaker Ryan, the executive director of Colorado's Department of Public Health and Environment. She says air quality is a top priority for the CDPAG and that the EPA downgrade would ultimately be a good thing for Coloradans. Well, a reduction in ozone um, creates both better health outcomes, so less asthma, less um, cardiovascular diseases, but also ozone uh, can have precursors that are greenhouse gas um, emissions and those, you know, contribute to climate change. So a reduction in this type of emissions has both health benefits and uh, is good to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and, um, you know, the precursors that contribute to climate change. Ryan said the effort to improve our air quality was already underway at the state level. She says several pieces of climate legislation that have already passed simply take time to implement. In anticipation of the EPA downgrade, the health department also asked for $43 million that would allow for more air quality regulators and increased permitting for those facilities subject to that lower emissions threshold.